Hey everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Today's episode we're going to be talking about Detonator from the Split Seconds line of Series 4. Oh, but look, it's autographed by Doug Stone and it does stuff that's awesome. Uh, <sighs> nope. Committed to detonator contracts and everything. You have to make sure we follow it. Detonator it is. One day we'll talk about you. One day. Let's do it. Detonator. Vehicle released in the Split Seconds line, Series 4, originally in 1987. This vehicle is a Volkswagen Beetle that turns into, and I'm going to quote the actual transformation here, hovercraft and attack bike. Simple enough, I guess. Um, it has a couple of missiles that come with it, and there are, I think those are the only loose parts, and we'll find that out so once we dig into this transformation here. And of course, we're going to fire the missiles too, because no show is complete when I almost break something. That's usually a good sign of a good show. Um, but before I really talk about the vehicle itself more, I, I need to address something with the, the character design for Jacques Lafleur in this vehicle. All right, so this is Volcano Jacques Lafleur, right? It's simple enough. And then here's Split Seconds Jacques Lafleur. Now, here they are side by side. You got a burly lumberjack, right? And then whatever the heck this is, I don't even understand the outfit choice. And then once we dig in here, He's definitely toned down a little bit, I would say. So I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but they definitely didn't follow like a, a pattern with him to this vehicle. And it probably had something to do with maybe him not fitting in. And I'm going to test that right now. If he doesn't fit in the vehicle, then that's why they narrowed him down a little bit. It's tight. He, he fits. Imagine going from Volcano, right? To this. Like going from Gator to Billboard Blast. Except at least this is not as lame. But all the Split Seconds figures come with a, you know, a clone of the other, you know, the actual driver. And the premise of it is, is that once it splits, it allows the clone to pilot a portion of it. But let's get in here real quick and look at some of the in-depth design here on the figure. So there's like, a, like an eagle or a, a hawk or something on his, on his shirt. And I'm not sure if this is meant to be a bird as well on the on the mask it's pretty odd actually i mean it's not a bad design it's just the colors are very strange but i guess it matches it's just such a huge step in a different direction than the original from volcano even the even the crazy color scheme ones from um the glider strike and the european two packs it's it's like a, it, it's just such a such a weird dynamic on the, on how this happened. Uh, the clone's pretty much the same thing, except you can't make it any detail on it. It's just a you know clone. And let's take a look at some of the detail on the detonator. Now, the one thing I will say is that at least they put some effort into this one. 
a lot of the other split seconds didn't really have a ton of effort put into them. You can tell they at least tried to do something here to make it more unique than some of the other ones that helped stand out. I don't mind the paint. I don't mind the, the color. Um, it's just weird that this thing juts out of the top. I'm not sure if that's a design by Volkswagen or if that's the actual way it goes. I, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press down on it and we're going to, oh, before I do that actually, I do want to point out that the chrome is held up pretty well on this for being as old as it is, uh, except for any area where it would have got the most pressing right here. So let's press it. All right, so when you do that, it should flip down and out something. Oh, something happened. I have something snap. Ah, crap. And remember, on a lot of these, I don't have the directions, so it's hard to remember exactly how they transform. And I like to do it give myself a little bit of a challenge here. Um, I don't like making myself look stupid though. Oh, it, 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 there we go. All right, so we got it apart. Now, let's look at the bottom first, how, how it detaches. <clears throat> so the bottom detaches, right? And then you push it together. And it turns into actually a pretty, a pretty cool motorcycle, to be honest. And um, since I would want the hovercraft, I would give this to the clone and wish him well. See you later, buddy. Well, that's not buddy, that's Jacques, but you get the point. That's not too bad. Whoa. Whoa. Don't fall. And then here, you get a hovercraft. So there's nothing underneath here that really signified that it is a hovercraft, but it's still pretty neat looking on this transformation. And then you get the main character in there. And as you can see, I think I did it wrong. So let me try again. He wasn't in all the way. So I think I have to go underneath. So I have to go underneath to get him in there correctly. Okay. So what I was doing earlier with the other Jacques was incorrect. Now his mask does kind of really get really close to the edge here. I'm guessing that's going to hold him in place a little bit better. And it's got gun turrets here. So let's see what happens when we fire them. Huh. Powerful enough to move the camera. Let's see if we can knock it back in place. Hope I don't stop the video. No, that's gone. No, I gotta try it again. So if I can knock it back. Hold on. Get it lined up here. Ah, uh, went a little little far, but it did fall back in, and I caught it. So that's cool. Um, I'll do it myself here. Sorry about that. It's actually kind of funny. Um, yeah, so it's got got some power to it, actually. I think this might rival some of the other... Like, this might be top. I'll, I'll have to test that one day soon. Any of the ones that have this you know, type of weaponry on there, I'm going to test it to see which one has the best firepower, essentially. So that would be an upcoming episode. Um, but overall, you know, it's, it's hard to gauge these split seconds because I didn't have it when I was a kid, so I don't have the tangible memories of it. I, or the... Yeah, the tangible memories and just memories in general. I only have it as an adult. And, like, normally I try to, like, kind of grade or score these on these videos. I would give this a 6 as maybe one of the better ones out of the series. But I wouldn't go any higher out of 10. Um, and if you're looking around to get one of these, out of the box, you might pay 80 60 to 80 dollars depending on the condition of it and if it comes with the missiles and inbox you're looking 
um, 200 and that's for a not sealed box but with like the box and the inserts so it's it's worth having if you do have the space to have in your collection i wouldn't put this toward the end this would probably be a middle piece to start collecting if you're going for all of them that's my suggestion anyway um and you'll find it more in uh european countries than you will in the united states so if you're looking on ebay search like ebay france ebay denmark uh etc and that should help out so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know your thoughts on Detonator. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. And please go back and watch some of our videos that we posted lately. A lot of really good ones. Uh, a lot of really good interviews about that mask find in Chile. Uh, Retro Blasting and Doug Stone have been on. So thank you to everybody for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from MattTracker.com. And I'll talk to you later. Trump's got some